Used his full time. And used it well. Good still. Henderson was right in there. His burn on to Carney, who floats it into the path of Stockdale. Stockdale, lethal finisher, goes after this. All the bells could go anywhere. It goes to Ireland. A llama. Comes initially from Ireland, stealing that ball. Henderson, he is such a strong man. Question marks about his line out, but he's technically very good. Good wide pass, Stockdale can make something of anything. The ball bounces wickedly back, and Lama is there. Thank you, Philippe. Keep his line high and good. Hughes! Vanapola told to use it by referee Nigel Owens. Now his youngs to Ford and May. Good hands, Daly outside to Fuck the Singer. Now who's going to stop this runaway train? Tries went missing in Cardiff. Not here today for England. And it's that man again, Joe Thocken, a singer. Four in international rugby, just his seventh cap. Ross Burns struck his first conversion beautifully. Another test in one, 45 metres plus. It's a nice strike. Oh, that is sweet, as you like. Ben Youngs, Toje, concern from the Irish medical staff, but we'll concentrate on the ball. Tui Lange has it, and England might have an extra man here. Ford's seen it. Curry, and there is the extra man. He's there in Elliot Daly. Uh, that's the brutality on the game line that Eddie Jones says he wants from England. And it's the brutality on the game line England can provide. Ireland have three waiting. It goes to Young's, it's loose ball, but it's Manu Tuilagi who drives over the line. And Twickenham never tires of seeing. England and Tuilangi deliver moments like that. And that's gone through the hands of the line out again, and Underhill goes on. Referee plays advantage. England look to take full advantage of Toshi! As clean a line break as you will see. Well, he's been the architect along with Ireland's self at the line out. He's caused mayhem, they don't know what they're doing, and he is now the beneficiary. Sinclair gives it to four, that had real fizz on it. So too from Farrell. Here goes Johnny May. He always seems to score, but not that time. Didn't take the ball with him, but England still have it. Curry. Referee waving it on. Leave it now, Pete. Let it go, Ross. May's taking a knock now. Here comes George Cruz. Not far to travel. He thinks he's got it down. Calling for the referee I'm to out. see it. Thank you. Hey, that's all good. Television match official is Philippe Bonheur. That's, all that's good. nice play from Billy Vudapola there. Now the grounding. Have you another angle, please? Can we show any more here? Yes, the yes we can. Hines <laughs> Ings keeps stretching Ireland here. Underhill, lovely pass. Curry down the back row. Two flankers are combining. Curry does get it down. Yeah, but Carlson. Underhill and Curry. He wanted to start with them, Eddie Jones. And as we approach the hour mark. They have more than delivered in all aspects of their play, but now Curry has a try to show for it as well. Heinz to four. Farrell, Thocken, a singer. There's wide open spaces here. And he uses them. Boy, does he use them.
doesn't need them to be that wide because he is. Green doors left open and England are just kicking them down. They're going to go to 50 points now. Bundyaki is trying to defiantly make his way to the corner. Oh, that's a strong finish. Oh, it really is. Yeah, he slipped through a Toge as well. Just shows what he can do. He hasn't got a lot of ball today. It's a brilliant finish from him. Just haven't seen him on the front foot making those carries. Callum Dickey again! Like he does strike twice in this autumn series that's turned into an August series in the sunshine. For Luke Cowan Dickett. Not on your feet. Oh, that's a little high from Cruz. It's clumsy, it's ill timed, and it's a yellow card. Has any Joe Schmidt Island team ever suffered a scoreline or a, a humiliation like this? No, I don't know. Well, I think. I can't think of one. I don't think so. I think Ireland have had big defeats over the years, but this is. Um, this is something that he'd be flabbergasted by for him. Well, there's a hand across the line out again from Maratoje and England, after last week's defeat in Cardiff, have bounced back with a massive victory against Ireland here at Twickenham. A second win here in this August warm-up. To September they had in the finest of battle. Ireland, if they won, would have been world number one. They got nowhere near that. 57-15.